Hey guys, Pat Dibley here teaming up with Griffith College to share some new learnings for a new year. So the biggest thing I'm thinking about for my own 2019 is getting clear on what exactly I want to achieve. We live in a busy world and there's always a lot going on around us and so it's easy to become distracted. So the big question I've been asking myself has been what would need to happen in 2019 for me to consider it a successful year? Effectively, I'm starting with the end in mind. I'm fast forwarding in my mind 12 months down the line. I'm working backward then so that I can achieve the key things in my life rather than getting distracted by the noise and busyness around me. There's a great story about a professor coming into a classroom with an empty jar. And in the jar, he places a couple of big rocks right up to the top. And he asks the students, is the jar full? And the students all laugh and respond, yeah, of course it's full, uh, thinking that they've it figured out. Then he gets a smaller jar and he pours stones amongst the bigger rocks and they collapse in and they fill the jar even more. And he says, is it full now? And they said, well, absolutely, it's definitely full now. Finally, he gets some sand and he pours the sand and again, the sand grains fall amongst the rocks and the stones and they all laugh and now it's full. But what he says this represents is that the big rocks are the most important things in our lives. They're the meaningful things that move us forward, uh, that are uh, fulfilling to us, that add purpose and meaning to our life. The smaller stones are the things that maybe we have to do day to day. It could be commuting to work, it could be doing your laundry, cooking food, whatever it is. Things that maybe you wouldn't choose to do if you had a choice, but you've got to get them done. And finally, the sand grains represent the busyness and the distraction that comes from maybe social media or excessive watching of television or just different things that maybe don't move us forward. And so when you think about this analogy, I'd encourage you to think about 2019 in the sense of what are the big rocks for you? What are the things that you really want to focus on? For me, it's things like fitness and food and meditation and also education. So colleges like Griffith College allow the opportunity to study either part-time or full-time, and it allows us the opportunity to upskill within our current work or also pivot into a different area of work by getting that qualification on the side uh, at a time that suits us. So I wish you the best in 2019. Think about what those big rocks are for you and keep moving forward. Thank you.